Hi friends, myself Bharat Shinde. I'm working as the assistant professor in civil engineering department in Walchand Institute of Technology. So today, today I'm going represent giving presentation on flow sand gravity filter. So this is the learning outcomes. After the end of this session, student will be able to understand the flow sand gravity filter construction and design the slow slant gravity filters introduction introduction the pro the process of passing the water through the beds of granular material is known as a filtration filtration helps the helps in removing the color turbidity odor and bacteria from the water generally there are two types of filters which are going to be used for the treating of municipal water supply they are slow sand gravity filters and rapid sand gravity filters slow cell gravity filters are where first device used for the process of filtration it is invented in the england by james simpson in 1829 the slow sand gravity filters often called slow sand filters this they can remove much larger percentage of impurities and bacteria from the water so this is the figure of construction of sand slow sand gravity filter this is the cross sectional view of the slow sand filters here we can see there is a one tank and there is a different material which are going to be used for the filtration purpose so when you see this figure in this figure yeah, consist of four part first one is enclosure of the tank second one is filter media this is the filter media and second one is the base material and fourth one is fourth one is under drainage system and fifth one is upper tennis the upper tennis the first will go for the enclosure of the tank the ssf slow sand gravity filter is a rectangular basin which is open and constructed below the finished ground level so the surface area of the this slow sand filter is in between 52000 meter square and the slope of the bed of this floor the floor of the bed of slow sand gravity filter is having slope of 1 is 200 to 1 is 2 200 so the rate of filtration the rate of filtration for slow sand gravity filter is is in in about 100 to 200 liters meter square per hour and the depth of the tank the depth of the tank is in between 2 to 4 meters 2.5 to 4 meters the depth of the tank next is filter media the filter media is consists of a sand of thickness of layer 90 to 110 centimeter this is the height of the sand of thickness of layer 90 to 110 centimeter the size the size of effective size of the sand is used for the filter media it is 0.25 to 0.3 mm Gen generally we will take 0.3 mm of size of sand for the filtration purpose similarly coefficient of coefficient of uniformity is taken as a 0.3 for the sand this sand after the sand the next is base material the base material is supported the sand material and here we are using different size of gravels different size of gravels we are using in four layers four layers the size the thickness of the gravel is 30 to 75 mm this is the gravel size of in between 30 to 75 mm here we are using different size of gravel different size of gravel in three to four layers so top of the first layer top having the size of the gravel is three to six mm in intermediate intermediate layer intermediate layer where the gravel size or the stones or gravels which are using ha having size of six to twenty mm another intermediate if the if the four layers are used two intermediate layers and one bottoms so third intermediate second intermediate layer having the size of the gravels of 20 to 40 mm and the bottommost layer the bottommost layer of the gravel which consists of 40 mm to 70 mm thickness of of gravels under this next next part of the slow slant gravity is under drainage system under drainage system it supports the sand and as well as gravel system gravel material so under drainage system is provided to 
filter the drain to drain the filter water after the sand and gravel this drainage system is consist of lateral pipes of earthen pipes of diameter 7.2 to 7.5 to 10 cm in size so these these pipes are placed from the center to center distance is 2 to 2.5 to 3 mm center to center so now pause the video now pause the video and find the think and find the correct answer so this is the question the correct answer is option a that is 100 to 200 liters per meter square because it is very efficient to remove the bacteria and other suspended from the raw material so here it is maintained lower rate of filtration the th last one is appurtenance appurtenance is devices are required to maintain the to to maintain or to to maintain devices required devices to me to measure the head loss through the filter media Cons maintaining the water level above the filter media and maintaining the rate of filtration so these are the theory behind each med each filter media each filter units which are studied earlier filter media base material drainage system appurtenance these are the devices are required for maintenance next here we are solving the one problem so design is six flow sand filter beds of following data so population to population to be served equal to 50000 person a pre capita demand is 150 liters per head per day a rate of filtration 180 liters hours per meter square each length of the each bed is equal to twice of the bed bread assume the maximum data demand as 1.8 times of average demand also assume that one unit out of six will kept as a standby solution standby so next solution the average 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 daily demand is equal to population served divided into pre capita demand pre capita demand means the person requires one daily daily use of water that is 150 liters of water is required per per liter sorry 150 liters of water required per person per day so this is the average daily demand 50000 into 150 it gives 7.5 into 10 raised to 6 liters per day this is the average daily demand for maximum daily demand it should be multiplied with 1.8 into 7.5 into 10 raised to 6 this gives the maximum daily demand of water so rate of filtration rate of filtration in the question it is given in the hours so when you multiply with 24 it gives in the days the rate of filtration it gives in the days so total area total surface area of the filter required is given by maximum daily demand divided by rate of filtration rate of filtration that is 13.5 into 10 raised to 6 divided by 180 into 10 raised to uh, into 24 this gives 3.125 10 raised to minus 3 10 raised to 3 meter square so this is the required area for the filter units so now we required number of units is six out of which five is working and one is kept as a standby so therefore we required area of each filter unit so area of each filter unit is given by one by five into total area required we know that total area required is 3.125 10 to 3 meter square so when when we divide this area divided by number of filter units which is working divided by 5 will gives area of each filter units so when we know the area of filter units by but from the question we know that length of length of that filter unit is equal to two times of the bread so we can put l is l into b is equal to 2b into b this is the area this is the total area of each units when you we want we know don't, we don't know the length and breadth of the each unit so when 2 into b to be it becomes b square dividing by 2 it gives 312.5 meter square uh, when squaring it gives 17.7 mm is equal to it say 18.18 .18, 18 meter when we, we when we 
when we get breadth value, we can put this 18 into here. Length into length is equal to 2 times of breadth. When you put L B is equal to 18, it gives length of the filter unit is 36 meter. The length of the filter unit is 36 and breadth of the filter unit is 18 meter. Hence, use 6 filter units with one standby. Each unit of size 13, 36 meter into 18 meter. Arrange in this series with 3 units on either side. So, after solving this problem, we, we know the length and breadth of the tank. Thank you.